Welcome to this series' presentation. The subject we will cover today is how to choose the most appropriate deep learning based tool for your application. We will start with a comparison between the deep learning approach and the conventional rule based algorithm method. We will then review tools such as classifier, segmenters, and object detectors. Focusing mainly on the advantages and drawbacks, we will explain how these tools meet typical requirements for computer vision application. Deep learning is a trendy subject in computer vision. All major actors in this field are proposing solutions or components based on deep learning. One of the reasons for that is because the deep learning approach opens up new opportunities in various domains where classical algorithms simply fail to provide reliable and stable solutions. So now, let's dive deeper into this subject. The deep learning term basically refers to artificial neural networks. The most common neural networks used for image analysis are convolutional neural networks. The deep learning approach offers several advantages. It reduces integration costs by allowing easier and faster application development. Unlike rule-based algorithms, where we must provide a detailed description of the object or defect we are searching for, in case of deep learning, we just need to train the neural network with a dataset of images featuring these defects or objects. In terms of programming, since we do not have to write code to describe in detail what is considered as a defect, the development of deep learning-based application is easier and much faster. Another advantage concerns the maintenance and the evolution of such application. Let's consider an application which detects defective products and identify the type of defect. Suppose we must upgrade this application to detect a new type of defect. In case of a deep learning based application, this evolution just requires adding images of this new defect in the dataset and train the neural network with the updated dataset. And there we go. Our application is now taking the new defect into account without the modification of a single line of code. If you need to apply the same evolution to an application based on conventional algorithm, well, be prepared to rewrite a significant part of your code. There are, however, some applications for which a convolutional neural network approach is not adequate. Reading codes such as barcode, data matrix code, or QR code is something that cannot be achieved with deep learning. Accurate measurement is another example of application where deep learning does not help. It is also not recommended to use deep learning based tools for applications where wrong results such as false negative are completely unacceptable. There are basically three families of deep learning tools, classifiers, segmenters, and object detectors. At Eurysis, all those tools are gathered in the deep learning bundle, which is part of the software library's package called OpenEvision. The first tool I want to talk about is the classifier. As one can tell from its name, a classifier aims at classifying objects or defects in different classes. Classifiers are mainly used to sort products in various classes, for instance muffins, pie, cakes, or to detect defective products. To achieve this task, the classifier must be trained beforehand. The training is based on a set of label images, the so-called dataset. The performance of the process highly depends on how representative and extensive the dataset is. Nowadays, with modern convolutional neural networks, as few as 100 images per class are required to train a classifier. Data augmentation features are also available to artificially increase the number of images in the dataset. The data augmentation makes the neural network more robust to symmetries, deformation, or any variation that are not present in the dataset. set. 
after this training process, the classifier is able to classify images, which means that for any given image, it returns a list of probabilities showing the likelihood that the image belongs to each of the classes it has been told. In case of defect detection, a classifier is able not only to detect defective products, but also to identify the type of defect. However, what it cannot do is to accurately locate the defect itself. This is the main limitation of classifiers. In OpenEvision, the deep learning classification library is called Easy Classify. Our next tool is the segmenter. According to the operating modes, two flavors of segmenters are available. The first one is called Unsupervised Segmenter. It is used for defect segmentation. It works by learning a model of what is a good product meaning a product without any defect. This is done by training the neural network with images featuring good samples only. After the training, even though the segmenter has never seen any image featuring defects, it is able to detect anomalies or any differences compared to the model it has learned. The unsupervised segmenter can then be used to classify new images as good or defective. In case of defective product, it also segments part of the image that differ from the learned model and therefore provide the exact position of defects. Training the neural network with images of good sample only is a great advantage for applications where defective samples are not readily available. An unsupervised segmenter is also the perfect tool when defects are not predictable or not known beforehand, for instance, in case of new types of defects that might appear due to the aging of a machine. The drawback to train the neural network with good sample only is that it cannot identify the type of defect. The unsupervised segmenter might also not be able to detect all the defects that other tools may detect, such as very small defects or defects that makes objects look smoother. The second type of segmenter is called supervised segmenter. It is used for semantic segmentation. It works by learning a model of what is a good product and what is a defect. This is done by training the neural network with images annotated with the expected segmentation. After the training, the supervised segmenter can identify products that contain defects and precisely pinpoint where they are in the image. The supervised mode achieves better precision and can segment more complex defects than the unsupervised mode thanks to the knowledge of the expected segmentation. The main advantage of semantic segmentation is that it can basically segment anything. As long as its neural network has been trained with correctly annotated images, a supervised segmenter can very accurately segment and differentiate between several classes of objects or defects. As always in computer vision, there is a trade-off between speed and robustness. Semantic segmentation is more precise and robust compared to unsupervised segmentation, but it is slower, typically two times slower than unsupervised segmentation for the same image resolution. The preparation of the dataset before training also takes more time because each image must be annotated with the ground truth segmentation. Furthermore, if as few as 10 high-resolution images are sufficient to train an unsupervised segmenter, 
at least 100 images per class are required for a supervised segmenter. In Open Vision, the deep learning segmentation library for both supervised and unsupervised mode is called Easy Segment. The last tool we will talk about in this presentation is the object detector. It is used to locate and identify objects, products, or defects in images. The convolutional neural network of an object detector must be trained with images where the object or defect that must be found has been annotated with bonding boxes and the corresponding class labels. After the training, the object detector has the capability to distinguish overlapping objects and as such is suitable for counting them. In practice, the object detector predicts the bonding box surrounding each object or defect it has found in the image and assigns a class label to each bonding box. Compared to a supervised segmenter, the annotation of the dataset to train the neural network for object detection is much easier. It just requires placing a bonding box around the object or defect to be learned. For a reliable identification, at least 100 instances of each object or defect should be learned. An object detector is faster than a supervised segmenter, typically two times faster. However, compared to a classifier, an object detector is more or less three times slower. The localization of objects in bonding boxes is also slightly less accurate than the pixel level segmentation of a supervised segmenter. In OpenEvision, the deep learning object localization and identification library is called EasyLocate. In terms of speed, as already anticipated, we can see from the chart that for the same image resolution, the classifier is the fastest tool, while the supervised segmenter is the slowest. Now, let's consider several types of applications. For each of them, we will determine the most appropriate deep learning based tool to use. Suppose we need to inspect small stone tiles. The application must separate the good samples from the bad ones. The position and the number of defects on the tile does not really matter, but it is mandatory to identify the type of defect and classify the tiles accordingly. Easy Classify is therefore the perfect tool for this job. Another domain where the usage of deep learning based tool is interesting is the food industry. For instance, before the packaging process of fruits or vegetables, the presence of foreign material must be detected. For such application, an accurate localization of the foreign material is important because we need to remove it. The identification of the foreign material is also required to understand at which state of the process it has been introduced. For all those reasons, the supervised mode of easy segment is the most adequate tool for this application. Now, suppose we need to count objects of various types placed in bulk and possibly overlapping each other. We also need to identify each object and retrieve its location. Well, this is typically the type of requirements that are met by the Easy Locate tool. Printing and textile industries also benefit from deep learning. In this case, the application needs to detect defective products and return the position and size of each defect. The classification of defect, however, is not always relevant. Furthermore, in these industries, the types of defect that may appear due to the aging of the machines are usually not predictable. 
The ability to train its neural network based on good quality images only makes the unsupervised mode of easy segment the most appropriate tool for such applications. The processing time is another aspect that should be considered. For time-critical applications, the main concern is the speed. In this case, when possible, Easy Classify should be the preferred solution. As we have seen, there are some overlapping between classifiers, segmenters, and object detectors. Choosing the deep learning-based tool that best fits your requirements is not always obvious. In this presentation, we have provided some hints to select the most appropriate tool for your application. For a free evaluation of the URESIS deep learning tools, we provide the Deep Learning Studio application. It allows to create your own dataset of images, manage data augmentations, train and validate our convolutional neural networks, and finally, evaluate the performance of our Easy Classify, Easy Segment, and Easy Locate libraries. Deep Learning Studio can be downloaded from the URESIS website. As you can see, this procedure is really straightforward. For more information about URESIS products, please visit our website. And do not hesitate to contact us, we will be more than happy to help you. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thanks for watching.